Now we're all here, you're joining me at Farron Creek and it's almost quarter to midnight and it's the highest tide I've ever seen. So have a look at this. This is the Sailing Club and Motor Club and the tide's come right up to this drain which is here and it's running backwards. You can hear it falling down into it. So I had to come down here when I heard how high the water was coming just to report on it and document it. Never seen it come this high and it still seems to be coming in even though it's about high water now. Yeah, it's definitely still coming up. Wow, it's not finished yet. As you can see behind me, we're at the Castle in the Air pub and I've never seen the water come up this high and it's still half an hour before high water. And I think some of these cars are gonna get flooded. There's no two ways about it. But it's actually, the tide water is actually coming back up out the drains and I've never seen it this high. It's even come up and it's going inside the Castle in the Air car park. That's unbelievable. It's never been this high. Just look at that. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough light there. As you can see, it's actually gone up to the doors. Nobody seems to be aware. Now, obviously, because it's the eclipse night, I think there might be something related to it and the strong winds. But, oh, that looks like it's dropping away again. So, but it's actually come into the car park. This is incredible. I've, obviously, I've grew up here my whole life. I've, lived in this town so I know how high the water come and I've never seen it this high before in my life. I think this has taken everybody by surprise because nobody's out um, putting sandbags out or anything so this is completely by surprise it's taken everyone but it's the water's actually bubbling out there now it's actually coming in. The houses on lower key are completely flooded it's come up that high. Now this is something they normally know about and prepare with sandbags but it's come as such a surprise sadly nobody was prepared for it and um, they're just going to deal with the flooding. What a shame. But have a look. <laughs> yeah, the water's coming up and it's actually going down the road drains. I thought it'd stopped coming in but now we're at half past 12 and the water's still coming up. Something strange is happening. I'm going to keep filming until I see it starting to recede. The tide has come so high it's even come up through the road and it's bubbling out the drains in the bus stop on the Gosport Road. Right, well I've come to the village of Wallington here and this is where you go into it and it's absolutely impassable. The water has come so high now it's set off car alarms up the road and as you can see, it has completely flooded the road. It's probably about two foot deep in the, wall, in the middle of the road up there. And even if I turn around and you see the Roundabout Hotel, which is there, it's even filling up the water way here. Now, there's no point me um, worrying about the car because nobody can go up that road. But you can actually see it. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but it's actually bubbling up out the drain there. So the water's become so high, the trains are going backwards. So that's the roundabout hotel. Filling up with water everywhere. <laughs> I've never seen it this high. This is blowing my mind. I'm glad I've come down here now. Right, so I'm just going to get low down and show you that. So it's actually come up to the corner of the waterside gardens. Who would have thought it? So the River Wallington is actually just over there and burst its banks and it's come right up to there. Right, let's go and see what else I can find. I said, I've just come up and um, pulled up alongside the um, viaduct that goes over and this is Bath Lane and it's completely filled up underneath the viaduct and I've just about managed to drive through that before it got too deep. So I've never seen that like that. This is the aggregate yard at Fairham Creek in Fairham, just next to Itchy Boat Corner where the lifeboat's kept. And you can see the tide has actually come up into the entrance of it. And this very rarely happens. It's actually gone high enough. It's gone in the front door. What a shame. So it's actually as high as the bottom of the gate. Wow, and as you can see there, there's the corner of the footpath of the Gosport Road. 
and all the residents of Ichibo Corner have come out on their porches to have a look at this because when will it happen again? Who knows? Like I said, I'm now nearly 50 and <laughs> this is the first time I've seen it come this high. I thought I was done filming because I thought we'd reached high water but there seems to be a second wind because it's come up even higher as well. We're past high water and it still seems to be coming in. Um, as you can see it's probably gone up another two inches on that um, door and as I come right over to here it's come up about another foot across the pavement here too and um, all the flotsam and jetsam's been blown up into the corner and as you can see, oh, it looks like one of them's come, the boats have come away from their mooring as well, where it's been so high. Um, blimey. So, water halfway up the doors here. I don't ever recall seeing this. The actual aggregate yard is completely flooded now. That's a shame, they just spent a load of money doing this building up. To get it flooded like that, that's no good, is it? So there it is, Upper Wolf Key, now the water has actually connected behind it. It's actually linked up. Mother Nature, eh? You can't tame her, you just got to respect her. Well, I thought it was high tide about half an hour ago, but I was clearly wrong because the water is still rising and um, it's so much so, it's coming up out this drain and I'm back at the castle in the air. And where that um, water was only just creeping in the car park, now the car park's about six or seven inches underwater and the uh, cars are right up to their um, axles. So that's what it looks like here at the castle in the air pub. Oh, you can actually see it flowing behind the castle in the air. I think they're going to get completely flooded. I wonder if I can actually get closer to that. Ugh, water. Yeah, it's actually running behind the pub. Wow. But now we're at about 20 past midnight and it's showing no signs of receding, which I'm quite surprised about. Yeah, it literally comes right up to here when you walk down there. I can see it running around the back. I don't oh, know where yeah, it's going. Of course, chaos. I think has got the little like, river that runs, little stream that runs behind the flats. Yeah. So I feel like that's just at the top. And in the, the car park behind the, the pub, you've got the bins floating around. All the barrels from the pub have just kicked out of the gate. So, yeah. That's still coming up as well. Yeah, it's well, high waters now. Yeah. So hopefully that'll be it. But is it flooded inside the pub yet? I don't know. It's got to have, isn't it, surely? I've actually come back to the sailing club just to see what's happened around here if it's come up any higher and it has to my surprise so much so we have a bit of driftwood which is actually floating in the middle of the road now with, a, with something tied to the top of it but it, that drain I was at earlier that's now under the water over there so interesting Fairham Sailing Club sadly that's going to be flooded now People in the morning be wondering how that piece of wood got in the middle of the road. <laughs> a 
that you can see the water's now pouring onto the road and that's the recreation part of Dalton's wreck and that's completely flooded halfway up it's actually pouring into the road now coming over the top I think I'm going to turn my car around soon because otherwise yeah because that water's about a foot higher in my car as I'm getting out of here before I get in trouble well now I am completely in utter shock because high water was half an hour ago and it's still coming up now the upper wharf is now three or four inches underwater and if we go back to look at the um, old aggregate yard the front door let's see if I can turn that light up a bit So this is the view from the other side of the um, lifeboat. You can see it in the background, they're all lit up. And uh, my brother's on there, just making sure it didn't go off the top of its moorings or where there was any problems with a high tide like this. So you would have seen that in previous videos, um, the, the lifeboat. But as you can see, this is the park here, which people normally cycle through on a daily basis. It's about a meter underwater. So it's completely utter flooded. Um, well, when I decided to start a YouTube channel, I never thought I'd be coming out at midnight to film how high the water was coming up on a particular evening. And I know the wind is really noisy, so sorry about the wind noise, but what can you do? Um, high water was about half an hour ago, and it's still coming up. I don't know what's going on here. Now, maybe it's just a reminder to us that we can't take nature for granted, because this has taken everyone by surprise, and we wasn't expecting it. And um, you know it's that reminder that nature's there ready to knock us on the shoulder or tap us on the shoulder saying gooey <laughs> don't take me for granted and uh, there we go so i'm going to go home now and get some shut eye um because i'm very tired and it's it's that time i don't think there's anything else to see so if you like these sort of videos i mean i never thought i was going to be filming this sort of thing when i started this channel but if you like it do all the button things you need to do to support me in any way you can and um, I'll hopefully, all going well, I'll see you in the next one.